Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be making Corey Carson from the Netflix show, Go Go Corey Carson, and we're gonna make him out of Play-Doh. So we're gonna get the colors that we need first. We're gonna start off with some orange because Corey is orange as we know. We're gonna mush it all up, get it nice and soft and ready to work with. Next, we're gonna use some yellow, get it all nice and smushed up. This is the most fun part that there and we're going to use some red for some of the details on him. Those will be our bright colors and then we're going to use some white and we're going to use some black. All right now that we have our colors ready to go we'll start with Corey's body. So we're going to start with the bottom part of his car. We're going to take about half of our orange and we'll start to get the shape for the bottom of his car. I am going to start with a rectangle. You can use your hands to make a rectangle like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect to start off with. We're gonna do a few things to get this shape just right. So to get my edges nice and flat, see where it's all bumpy here, I like to use a cutter. So ask your parent to help you with this part to make sure that you are using a tool that is right for you. Or just ask a grown up to help you with this part. And I like to cut off the edges just like this and it also feels really good just to give them that nice flat look and then once I get those flat edges I'm going to use my hands to start rounding out these corners because Corey's body has kind of a roundish shape to the edges. So you can use your finger like this. You can use the table. Move these aside. You can use the table and rock back and forth. Okay, so I think we've got that shape just about right that rectangle shape with really rounded edges to get it looking just like Corey. All right, so we'll put that back here and then we'll go ahead and make the top of Corey's car. So we're gonna do a similar thing here. We're gonna take a big piece of the orange and we're gonna start to make it into a cube. That's like a big square. All right, and once we get that square made, again, I'm gonna use a cutter, something that is good for kids. Ask your parents for help on this part. I'm gonna make some nice flat sides. Now I'm only gonna do it on three sides. I'm gonna do it on the front and the two sides because on the back, I'm gonna make this really rounded here. So I like to use the table and my fingers to help me get that really rounded back of Corey's car. See how it's kind of the shape of a rainbow on this side? That's what we're looking for. And then I'm gonna go ahead and soften all these edges on the side because Corey has nice, soft, rounded sides. All right, and we'll see how this fits. I think he's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna get into making some details to decorate him. 
So Corey has some stripes that go down the front of him. And to make the color for those stripes, I'm going to take a little bit of the orange that we were using and a big piece of yellow. And we're going to mix these two colors up to get the perfect color for Corey's stripes. So this looks like a great color. You can see it's a little bit different, but still kind of matches. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to roll it out nice and flat. And I'm going to cut Corey's stripes. So I'm going to make one larger stripe and two smaller stripes to go right alongside. So here is my larger stripe that's going to go down the middle. And we're just going to drape that right over the top. And you can push it in to go right down the center of Corey's car. And just rip off the little end. Rip off the end. Then I'm going to take both of my small stripes one at a time and I'm going to add them right next to the big stripe. And I'm going to lay the second one right next to it on the other side. The great thing about working with Play-Doh is that nothing has to be exact the first time. You can always mush it around. You can always move it with your hands. You can always redo it or add or take away. It gives you such freedom and such flexibility to change things after you've already put them there. I have this fun Play-Doh tool that I love to use to make things perfect. All right, so we've got Corey's stripes now. And now I think he's gonna need his windows. So for Corey's windows, we're gonna use our white and we're gonna start by rolling it out. So once you get some white Play-Doh rolled out, you're gonna wanna cut across the bottom to give you a nice bottom line. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the shape for the windows. So for Corey's front window, we're gonna do kind of a rainbow shape or a semicircle. We go up and around and down. And then we can hold that up to the front of Corey's car and see if it's exactly the right size. Because remember, what is the great thing about Play-Doh is that you can keep changing it and fixing it until it's just the way you want it to be. So let's see. I actually think I got that just about right on the first try. Maybe it needs to be a little bit smaller on that side and just a little bit shorter. All right, let's try that again. I think that looks just about right. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it right on and that will be Corey's front window, his windshield. Also, it's his face. Awesome, now we're gonna make the side windows. And you can use what you just did as a guide to see how tall you want them to be. 
the side windows are gonna go straight down and then that half of a rainbow shape. And we'll do another one straight down, half the rainbow shape, and let's see if those fit. So it looks like we have to just trim it down a tiny bit, but I was very close. Push that right on. Looks pretty good. And we'll do the other side also. All right, now Corey has his windows. Now we wanna work on the details on Corey Carson. So we're gonna start off by making his headlights. We're gonna take some white and we're gonna make two small balls about the size of a pea. One and two. And to put these on Corey, we're gonna take our finger, smush it so you get a flat circle and go ahead and put it right on the front. And then we're gonna smush, put it right on the front. Now what I like to do once it's on I like to make it more into an oval shape because that is really the way that Corey's are. And then once you have these circles or ovals on the front, you're going to want to take a little bit of yellow and you're going to put the headlights in so it looks like there's light coming out. So you're going to take a little bit of yellow to make one circle and a little bit of yellow to make a second circle. And you're going to smush it and put it right on. All right smush. There you go. Now Corey has his headlights. Now in the back, Corey has taillights. So let's go ahead and put those on. And the outline for those are not white. The outline for those are gray. So we're going to take a little bit of our black and a little bit of our white, and we're going to mix them up to make a gray color. And if you want to add a little bit more white to make it lighter, go ahead and do that. All right, so once you've got your gray color all mixed up, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to take a little bit, make a circle. We're going to need two of those. Make a circle. And then you know what to do to make it flat. We're gonna smush it and stick it right on the back. Smush it right on the back. And in the back of the car, instead of yellow for lights, they actually have red for lights. So we're gonna take two little red circles to go in the middle. So here's one and here's two. Smush and stick and smush and stick. Very nice. So Corey has one more detail that we're gonna to wanna to add before we put on his bumper and his tires and his face, of course. And he has a little red license plate on the front and the back. So I'm gonna roll out some red to make that shape. I'm gonna cut across the bottom and then make two license plate shapes. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna get two rectangles that have slanted edges. There's one. 
and there's the other. You can pick them up in your hands to make them just the way you want them. You know I like to round all the edges for Corey's details too. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on the front of him, right in the middle. We're gonna leave some space underneath because that's where we're gonna get our white bumper put on. And then I'm gonna turn him around to put it on the back. Let me get this nice and perfect first. Okay. Get that right on the back. Just like that. All right. Now we can work on getting that bumper down around the bottom. So we're gonna use some white. And we're gonna roll it out again, just like we did before. And this time we wanna do one long strip that's gonna go all the way around Corey. I'm gonna roll it out just a little bit more. All right. Okay, so we're gonna take this long white bumper and we're gonna lay it all around Corey. So I like to start with the front, right underneath all of these details. Around the side and to the back. get to the back, you can just tear it off and connect it. We're going to go around and make this perfect after. So now I'm just going to go all around the car and push it in so that it sticks. And I'm also going to use my finger to make it go exactly where I want it to go. So on the sides, I like to make it go up a little bit where his wheels are gonna go. All right, there's Corey's bumper. And now we have to put his wheels on him. So for his wheels, we're gonna use black with white on the inside, and we're gonna make four black tires. Here's how we're gonna do it. Once again, we're gonna start with making a little ball like this. Maybe this one's gonna be the size of a small blueberry, I would say. We're gonna do four of those. So we can count one, this will be two, three, and four. Then we're gonna take each one, we're gonna smush it down to make a nice flat, circle and that is going to be the tire one two three and four And now we're gonna put the white detail inside the black tire. You guessed it, four little white circles. Okay, one. Let's go ahead and turn him around for three. 
and four. All right, now Corey has some wheels so he can zoom around town. And what's left? His face, of course. We gotta give him that smiling face. So I'm gonna start with his eyes. His eyes are just two small black circles. Very simple. And we're gonna put those right on his face like this. One and two. And then Corey has some eyebrows. And I think that eyebrows are super important for making a character look a certain way. So when I make characters out of Play-Doh, I all the time, I look at the eyebrows because the eyebrows can make a character look happy or sad or angry or sleepy. So I'm gonna take some black, I'm gonna roll it out into a long worm and we're gonna get it pretty small. And then I'm gonna take just two small pieces. Remember using any Play-Doh cutter that you have at home, something that your parents say is safe for kids. If you're a kid, you can roll it out a little more if you need to, I think I need to. And then we're gonna take it and put it right up above Corey's eyes. Now, you know me, I like to make my take my tool, and make sure it's perfect. All right, how does that look? And now, last but not least, we're gonna make Corey's mouth. So to make the mouth shape, I'm gonna take some red and I'm gonna press it out into a circle to start. And what that's gonna give me is a nice circle that I can cut in half for the shape of Corey's mouth. See that? I'm gonna use my fingers to make it just right and also to give him a little bit more of a smile shape because I know that Corey Carson is usually pretty happy. I love to see him smile. There we go. And then he has some little teeth that he usually shows up top. So I'm gonna take some white, just a little bit. I'm gonna roll it out. I'm gonna put it right on top. And then I'm just gonna get really detailed And then I'm gonna give him a little bit of a tongue. So I'll take some red and some white, mix it up to make a little bit of a pink color or a light red. And I'll take a little, little piece. I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the mouth. I'm gonna flatten it out to make a circle. And then I'm gonna cut it in half so that we get the shape of a tongue. Put it right on the bottom. There we go. Let's get that onto Corey's face to give him that smile that we love. What do you think? I think we've got Corey. My name's Corey. Corey Carson. There you go, friends. Go, go, Corey Carson from Netflix. Made out of your favorite Play-Doh that you like to use at home. Ah! All right, 
now we need to make Corey Carson's sister Chrissy out of Play-Doh because Corey needs a sister, right? So we're going to take some green and we're going to lighten that up to look more like the color of Chrissy's car body. And what are we going to add to lighten it up? But white. So we'll take some of our white and mix it in with our green. Okay, so now that I've mixed the green in with the white, I think it looks a little more like the color of Chrissy. So we've got our green. We're gonna need just a little bit of yellow for some detail. So we'll give that a squeeze. And we'll put that off to the side. And then we're gonna need a little bit of white and a little bit of black. And we're gonna need a little bit of red. So for Chrissy, we are going to start off the same way we did for Corey by starting with the bottom of her car body, but we'll make her a little bit smaller than Corey because she is his little sister. So we're going to make our rectangle for the bottom to start off with. I like to use my plastic knife. Um, you can use any Play-Doh tool, make sure that you have a grown up with you for this part, just to make sure that the tool you're using is a safe tool. I'm taking my rectangle here and I'm just rounding off all of the pointy edges because Chrissy's body has a rectangle bottom, but the edges are really rounded. They're not perfectly pointy. All right, so once you've got Chrissy's body, we're going to want to go ahead and make the top of her, the top of the car, kind of like her head. So we'll take another piece of green, get it nice and soft. I'm going to start by rolling it into a ball. And then I'm going to start to take that ball and give it a little bit more shape to be the top of her car. And once I put that on top, I'm just going to use my fingers to smooth out the edges. If you want, you can use another Play-Doh tool. This is one of my favorites. All right, so we've got Chrissy ready for some details. So for Chrissy's window, we're going to use white. We're going to roll it out pretty flat. And now for Chrissy's window, we're going to do the same kind of thing we did for Corey's window. We're going to start with a flat line. And then we're going to make that sort of rainbow shape or a semicircle. So we're going to take our semicircle shape and see if that fits right on Chrissy's front window. Let's see. I think I almost got it perfect. I might need to trim it just a little. Take a little bit off. Let's try again. I think that's going to work out just perfectly. And Chrissy's front window kind of wraps around her just a little like that. And then remember, since it's Play-Doh, we can mush it all around to make it exactly the way we want it. I'm going to use this fun Play-Doh tool to make the front a little more perfect. All right. I think we're good on Chrissy's front window. Now we can give Chrissy her cute little details, which can be her front headlights. So we'll take little white circles. And we're going to take them and squish them down and put them right on her 
where her front little headlights will go. I like to make them a bit more oval once I get them on. And then I'm gonna take yellow and do the same thing. Two little tiny circles. And these little yellow circles will be the inside of the headlights, like where the light would come out. So we're gonna smush and stick. Smush and stick. All right. And now we see that Chrissy has a front detail that is a little bit darker than the color of her body. So I'm gonna take some of the green and I'm gonna take a little bit of black. And what that will do is it will darken up the color so that we can use it for her front detail. So now that we've got our color that's the green mixed with a little bit of black, I'm gonna roll it out so that we can cut out that front grill detail. So I'm gonna use my cutter to cut out the detail. And on that little detail that she has are some lines. So I'm gonna just take my cutter or your Play-Doh knife, whatever you have, and push a couple of lines right into it, not all the way through, just to give it that detail. And then we'll stick that right on the front of Chrissy. There we go. Now I'm gonna roll out some white to give Chrissy her bumper. And we're gonna cut one long strip out. Okay, so we're gonna take her white strip for Chrissy's bumper and we're gonna wrap it all around her. I like to start at the front because I like the front to be the most perfect. And then we wrap all the way around. I like to go up a little bit where the tires are gonna be. So I go up and then down just a little for some added detail. Remember it's Play-Doh so you can always mush it around to make it perfect. And on this side, I'm gonna go up a little bit and then up a little bit and then meet up on the back. So now we can go back in and fix any little spots we need to. Okay, so now we can go in and make Chrissy's four tires. So we're gonna use black and we're gonna make four small balls, kind of the size of little peas. Try to get them about the same size. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna have four white circles to go on the inside of her tires that are gonna be just a little bit smaller than the black circles. One, two, 
here's three, and here's four. So to put Chrissy's four tires on, we are going to take our circles, smush them, and stick them right on where the tires will go. One, two, three, and four. Four black tires and now we need the insides. So we're gonna count our four white circles. One, there's two, okay. Now we're gonna take three and four. There we go, here are Chrissy's four tires. So one other detail that Chrissy has on the back of her are lights in the back. So let's get those on. We're gonna do a little bit of a white outline with two white circles. So we're gonna do one and two. And then we're gonna bring in a little bit of red, just like we did for Corey's back lights. And we're gonna get two tiny circles just for that little detail. So one and two. So what does Chrissy still need? Of course she needs her face. So for Chrissy's face, we're gonna give her two little eyes. So we have two little black circles Gonna do one and two. And then Chrissy has a cute little smile right in between. So we're gonna roll out a little worm to get a straight line. And we're gonna use our cutter to cut off a little piece. You can roll it out a little more if you need to. I think I do. So once you get your worm, we're gonna need to make it into a little smile. Now this can be a little tricky because it's so small. So we're making a little smile and we're gonna stick it right on Chrissy's face. Just make this perfect. There she is, Chrissy from Go Go Corey Carson, made out of Play-Doh. Cookie Dumps! And there you go, guys. We've got Go Go Corey Carson, we've got Corey, and we've got Chrissy. I hope you enjoyed it. Ready? 